Greetings to my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome back to my Instagram live on Sunday. Magnificent Suyok. All right. Um, and uh, Magnificent love you too. All right. The V official must be Loreen. All right. Shaheen. How are you doing? G. Kulibaya. Ipratip Bhavaneshit. Ajay Vijayalakshmi, the V official. Good morning, Ruben. All right, uh, Mina Vikrams, Shruti Modak, Rajesh Mina. All right, Pony, and thirty-two others join. Okay, that's indicating that more people are joining. Seth, AKK Patel, Prishawi Kali, Me Gondaganesh, Deepak Boxer, Vimal Chris. All right. Ashwat Yukan, Mani Vasagan, Sajnip, or Sach, Sachin, Sachin, yes. Pravin, Immortal Borel, Anj, Aditi, Ali, Assalamu Alaikum, Tejas, Beloche, QNet official must be Rita, Talevin, Amadu, alright, QNet official again, Rita giving me heart, Sindhu Priya, Pramesh, Right, uh, Shurbit, Viknesh, Indra Panu, Indraj Panu, Prakal, big shout out to all of you guys, Palnasami. All right, guys, greeting Riaz, how are you, bro? Vinay, Mishra, Manokum, all right, Baumiku, Ak Patel, all right, Jafera Bas, Kiam Siddiqui, 22, Rajnish. Akash, Kamal Kul, Om Prakash, Kiru Parakan, Lakharandranda, Parme, Pram, Parmesh, Prem, <laughs> our product trainer from QVI, Prem, how are you doing? Gopinath, Ashish, alright, good morning guys, good morning, good morning, Louise, Win, Yada Vikas, welcome to Instagram Live, welcome to week, um, I think week 40 now. We just finished week 39. Unbelievable. This is the first week of your rank advancement. Uh, week 39. I hope all of you achieve your goals, your ranks, uh, everything else. And welcome to day 2 of week 40. Which is the first day or first week of your rank advancement. And the problem is people are not switched on enough. Okay. All right, uh, people are not switched on enough to start focusing on their rank on week one. And as usual, like school, when there was exams, we morons wait until the last minute to, to, to study and make sure we have enough knowledge to even pass the exam. So guys, week one, week two, week three, week four, all right, and sometimes week five, will either four or five will be the rank advancement. Make sure your intensity is the same every week. Don't have a roller coaster of intensity which leads to inconsistency. And then when it comes to the last week, you perform like the greatest networker on the planet. But week number one, which is now, you don't perform like the greatest networker on the planet. So you need a paradigm shift. A paradigm shift of understanding that every day matters, every presentation matters, everything you do from week one, two, three contributes to your rank advancement. So take it equally, if not even more seriously. Well, guys, week 40. Uh, today I'm going to end at 8.25 Malaysian time because I'm rushing to spend unbelievable quality time with the one and only Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran, our upline mentor and visionary. Um, whenever I get a chance to spend time with him, I grab it, okay, and I'll be joining him with uh, V Partner Sati, V Partner David, AVP Giri is there. All of us are going to sit down and discuss what we're going to do for the remainder of the year. Now, guys, you are in week 40. We are coming into the month of October very soon. This means that you've got October, November, December, which is the last three months or what we call the last quarter of the year. Now, in the beginning of the year, I always tell 
you, your uplines, all networkers, to set your goals for 2020. And I do this as part of the TAT program for 52 weeks, where you set your total goal. Let's say you want to make $250,000, $100,000, a million dollars, doesn't matter. Dream big and dream bigger. And then you take that ultimate goal of yours and you break it down to what you need to achieve every week. So this on week 40, before going into the last quarter of the year, I need you to review honestly, all right? How have you performed up to week 40? How far or how close are you to that goal of 2020 that you decided in the first week in January that what you wanted to achieve? Because this is not, let's see what happens, let's try, let's hope for the best. You need a plan, you need a target, all right, which is crystal clear in your mind, in the minds of your upline, so they know how to guide you and push you. And you need a crystal clear goal every week. And I launched a program many years ago called TAT, Target Achieve Target, which decides what is your performance for every week, the seven days, all right, the seven days. What are you going to achieve? Your total BV, your rank, your check, how many people below you earning checks, all right? And I believe that everyone's targets will increase as they achieve bigger and bigger checks. So if you're watching me and you're brand new, all right, your initial checks are going to be 250, 500. And you obviously want to hit 1,000, 1,005, 2,000, 2,005, you know, 5,000, 6,000, doesn't matter. Whatever your goal is, you have to recognize the fact, and I learned this um, when I first started networking, that achieving a bigger check or hoping that your checks grow, the most fundamental aspect of it is not only the growth of your organization, but it's your personal growth, how much you grow. So I always tell people, you want to max out, you must have a max out attitude. You mentally, emotionally must grow in order to earn that check. That the check is not going to come to you by accident. Maybe some checks you might get once or twice by accident. But if you want a consistent growth in your check or weekly commission pattern, that requires you to grow. And this is what people fail to understand. That the biggest mistake we make in network marketing is that we don't focus on our personal growth. Because you see, when you manage two downlines or you manage four downlines, it requires a different attitude, a different mindset to manage two or three new people. But when you got 20 downlines, 200, 2,000, 20,000, 200,000 downlines, all right? The same you who manage two people effectively will not have the ability to manage 200,000 people effectively unless you grow. So if you don't grow, you will not be able to manage an organization that is growing. So my initial working as a downline of Dato Sri Vijay Japa, our great founders, I was always confused because they never spoke to me about network marketing. They never spoke to me about my tracking center, left, right, okay? Uh, they rarely asked me what's going on in my organization. All right? They kept asking me questions like, what do you want to achieve this year? What do you want to achieve by the middle of the year, by the third quarter, by the second quarter? All right? And then they would spend hours. And I'm not kidding. I used to sit down with Dato Sri from like 12 midnight until sunrise, listening, learning, allowing him into my house, giving him trespass so that he would focus on our growth. And he would talk about things that had nothing directly to do with network marketing, but had 100% to do with me and me growing, me realizing, me having greater and greater paradigm shifts, all right, so that I will be able 
to manage a bigger network, a stronger uh, network, to build and develop and duplicate leadership in my organization without losing the DNA of, of service above self, of servant leadership, of focusing like a maniac on your goals and never, 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 all right, uh, switch off. And I realize that those paradigm shifts were fundamentally important in my growth of being able to manage the network. And today I sit here as your upline representing the great ones, Datu Sri and Japa. And I don't think I'll be able, I would have been able to manage a global network around the world if not for me growing constantly, seeking constantly. So who you are now, where you are now, this is one point, all right, of your journey. And if your check is 250, 500, 1,000, 2,000, doesn't matter. If you are hoping to double your check, all right, to grow to maybe 10,000 or max out, you have to change. You have to evolve. You have to grow because when you are training and duplicating leadership, all right, you cannot be the same person you were 10 years ago. That you have to ask yourself, am I growing fast enough to keep up with the growth of my network? Do I have enough content of value that I transfer to my leadership, to my downlines, and make them more effective at being leaders on their own right? Because you cannot teach what you do not know. You cannot demand for them to evolve and have a paradigm shift if you are still stuck, all right, at the basic level of a networker. So this Instagram Live today is for you to understand that growth is fundamentally important. You don't grow, your checks don't grow. You don't evolve and change change your organization does not evolve and change that what you told your downlines 10 years ago they already know they are now sharing it with their downlines so whenever they come and sit with you in a process of engagement mentoring power of association you have to ask yourself are you giving them something new are you having that ability that trespass the leadership qualities to push them out of their comfort zone to wake them up. Do you have it? And this comes back to the fundamental aspect. All right. The first, first, first video you watched long time ago. The need to empty your cup. All right. That I believe that whoever you are in whatever aspect of your life, whether it's being a parent, whether it's being an upline, whether it's being, a, you know, a son, a daughter, a brother, a sister. Okay you will reach a maximum point of your effectiveness, of your efficiency, of your ability to push yourself hard. And then you need to evolve. You need to grow up. You understand? You cannot remain that little kid you were when you started networking with basic, you know, understanding. That's good. But one day you're going to lead people. And in order to lead people, and make a difference in their lives, you need to recreate yourself to be a leader. You need to empty your cup and plug into the leadership system of your organization. That you have to identify somebody or a few people who you are confident can add value into you to evolve and grow. Now you think about it. Your whole journey through school when you were in kindergarten, you were playing with crayons, you know, dolls and trucks. And then when you went to high school, you were mixing chemicals and doing all kinds of things. And then when you go to college, you're writing, you know, reports and theses and doing studies to submit to your lecturers. You had to evolve. You had to learn. You had to do research. You have to, you know, learn about yourself that the playful you when you were 10 years old may not survive college. And then when you had your first job, you had to evolve even more to be able to adapt, adjust, accommodate and be effective. And today you have come into a brand new journey with us, the greatest network marketing company, QNet, 
the greatest upline, the V and the founders, Dato Sri Vijay and Japa. And the same thing, you are on a journey. And the biggest mistake networkers make is they remain the same throughout the journey. That they don't change, they don't evolve. Alright, that means if you are hot tempered, now you must learn how to be patient. Alright, if you are good at pushing people, alright, now you must duplicate yourself and get them to push their downlines. It is all about you. That this journey has to be completed by you. But this journey cannot be completed by the, the you that started this journey. That you have to evolve and change. You have to grow because your ultimate goal is still max out financial freedom. All right. Achieving that, making your dreams into a reality. But the question is, the you that signed up, all right, don't have what it takes at that point to lead an organization. Because you emptied your cup once, you learn about network marketing, you learn about Compland, the direct selling industry, the greatness of QNet, the power of e-commerce entrepreneurship. Boom. And you start your journey. And then you got downlines asking you questions. Then you answer, you duplicate. You take your cup with all your knowledge and you pour it into your downlines cups. Fantastic. Now that knowledge is going to stay at your subconscious level. I can do a training which I did 22 years ago like this today to a new group of people. But then at the stage, after you duplicate your knowledge to your key leadership or your inner circle, then you have to go and search to fill your cup again. And this process happens every time consistently. Do you understand? You, if you understand, just nod your head. Okay? You, you have to do this because I am emptying my cup today. All right, almost every day, every week to evolve, to be a better chief, a better upline to all of you. And sometimes we are too stubborn to change because we think, hey, what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with me, chief. Who I am, I achieve a $5,000 check. Congratulations. So if I just keep going, I'll hit 10000 No, you're not going to. And if you don't grow, you don't evolve. If you don't constantly empty your cup and refill it with knowledge, experience of others, teachings, mentorship from your uplines, all right, from VTube, okay, uh, watching Dato Sri Vijay, Japa, the V partners, watching the Wednesday message. Last Wednesday, I spoke about erasing the lines, all right? That's the only way you grow. But to add on to my Wednesday message, you got to empty your cup and fill up your cup. So the million dollar question that each one of you must ask yourself is are you growing fast enough? Or is your network growing faster than you? Because if your network is growing faster than you, then they will not need you. Because you have nothing of value to give them anymore. Because you chose not to evolve and change and raise the bar higher in yourself. All right? And if your network is not growing at all, that means you truly haven't emptied your cup. You did not even learn the basics for you to build at least the foundation of your organization. And then it is natural that you will have downlines who are hungrier than you, who have bigger checks than you. Doesn't mean you still cannot guide them. Doesn't mean you still cannot be an effective upline to them. All right? As long as you choose to be, and you have a strong, powerful desire to learn, to evolve, to change, then you can still add value to them. Because ultimately, if you have 200,000 people, they want to hear something. They want to feel something. Do you understand? They want to say, come on, tell me what to do. Teach me something new. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And you are there like, uh, well, I told, you can't repeat what you said last year. You can't repeat what you said 10 years ago. All right, because the world has changed. And then your leadership, they are hungry for leadership training. How do they get their checks up? How do they manage their network better? And this means that your evolution, your change must be constant. And the only way is to constantly empty your cup. What you know today, 
may be useless tomorrow, depending how fast your network grows. And ultimately, guys, you cannot lead people to do something you do not do. So I always said, the only way a leader earns respect is to lead by example, by walking the talk. So you want your organization to focus on their TAT, you better focus on your TAT. Ask yourself who you're sending your TAT to. How serious are you? So review your TAT this week for 2020 and then decide what you must do for the last quarter. That alone will give you a wake-up call. All right, You can't tell them to do presentation if you are not doing presentation. I still do presentation today even though I don't need to. All right, Just to have that credibility to speak to you guys. And tell you guys to get off your ass and do presentation, presentation, presentation. So my message on this Instagram live is if you want your checks to grow, you must grow. If you want to be an effective leader, upline, VC, AVP, V partner, inshallah one day, then you have to grow faster than your organization. That you have to learn how to empty your cup. You must be learning from somebody. All right? You must have somebody guiding you. Because if you think you know what you're doing, that's when you screwed up. Because until today, I'm telling you, I still don't know what I'm doing half the time. And I need to seek from Dato Sri Vijay so he can fill up my cup again. All right? So I can evolve and change. And I hope that next year when you hear me on Instagram Live, you say, oh my God, Chief, you have completely changed from last year. All right? Change. Or die. Change or be stagnant. You want your checks to grow? You need to grow. So ask yourself today on this Instagram, are you growing fast enough? Are you changing fast enough? Are you evolving? Do you have enough to add value to your leadership, to your organization, to push them out of their comfort zone? Are you in a comfort zone? And most importantly, review your TAT for 2020. We got one more quarter. This quarter, go all out. Build this organization from your heart. Give 100% and then give more. That's what I need you to do from week 40 all the way to week 52. All right, guys? And whatever you decided you're going to achieve in 2020, do or die. That's the mentality you must have. So, guys, change. Keep changing. Keep emptying your cup. Seek and seek and seek. All right, for people who can help you evolve and change. Your organization will only grow when you grow. I love you guys. See you on my Wednesday message.